Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. My first stop is to the sunny skies of Colorado. This is the, the view up in Vail and the back bowls. You can see that just bright sunshine, blue skies. Some good snow coverage after that uh, that last west-northwest flow uh, storm cycle we had. But now it's really a waiting game. We do have snow on the way for Colorado late 12-7. Um, through 12.8, maybe trickling into very early 12.9, but that's going to be the case. This next chance of snow for Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, it's all coming out of the Pacific Northwest. So here are my uh, bullet points, the latest stuff that I'm seeing, the timing of this next snow in Colorado, again, late 12.7 through 12.8, maybe trickling into very early 12.9. Wyoming, 12.7, 12.8, a tiny snow on 12.10. That storm is just looking weaker and faster than it did even this morning. Utah 12.7 through 12.8. And there's going to be a pretty large, windy, um, eastern, east coast type storm system that, that uh, races up through the northeast, 12.10 into 12.11. Still looks like a lot of rain initially. I'll break that down. I'll show you what the actual forecast graphics look like for that storm coming up in just a few. So let me go back. I want to take you to water vapor satellite imagery here. Um, the very latest update on this. So this is, again, what you're looking at with the reds and oranges. Uh, that's drier air aloft. The moisture transport is going to be white and blues. And there's your big storm rolling through the Pacific Northwest which a, with a very rich atmospheric river connection. And that moisture will then stream over uh, the uh, Intermountain West. And behind it um, is another storm which will factor into the forecast. That's the second one that's looking weaker and faster, but both of these storm systems are just following the jet stream, which is doing this, and then eventually it will help to develop. This storm will come up over the top and develop into that large east coast storm system on 12.10 and 12.11. So that's how everything is connected. Here's the, the forecast radar and satellite, the very latest. This is the current state uh, of affairs here this afternoon. Now by tomorrow morning, Again, a piece of that breaks off, and that begins to move into the upper um, interior, looking through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Wasatch, all seeing snow out of this by tomorrow morning. And by tomorrow afternoon, um, still snowing in all those areas, then it starts to make its transition, take a transition into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. You can see even snow clipping Tahoe and uh, Shasta in northern California there, snow through parts of Oregon at the higher elevations. So by 12, 8 in the morning, Snow everywhere. It's it's colder at this period. Colder air has moved in. Um, by the end of 12:8, we're talking about snow there all the way down into Denver at 52:80, looking for at least a few inches uh, more on the west and south sides of town. But still snowing there up in the uh, the Tetons and the Wasatch parts of Montana and Idaho at the end of the day on 12:8. By the time we get into 12:9, things are really just sliding down through Colorado and exiting. And there's the end of the day on 12.9. Then it's a waiting game. Here comes that second fast weak storm system on the 10th. I mean, it basically slides through Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. And there might be a few inches, and that's going to be about it. It kind of washes out. Watch what happens by the uh, end of the day. It's essentially gone at that point. Let's look at the jet setup. That'll really help to um, really show you how this is all moving in the atmosphere. So this is 12.8, big dip in the jet. That's what's going to support that storm system of snow through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, 12.7, 12.8, early 12.9, really helping to keep that low pressure and just develop it over those areas. All right, so that's 12.8. Here's 12.10. Um, much more progressive west to east fast flow. Even though it is moving a storm system along through the northern tier, it's very weak and it's very fast. Just not much support right there for development. By 1215, big time difference in the pattern. Huge ridge with the northern branch and the southern branch. Then there does appear to be a little bit of a dip in that. There might be a storm system working its way through or developing um, out of New Mexico, the panhandle of Oklahoma, Texas, and southeast Colorado. It's possible. That's what this shows. So we'll keep an eye on that. That's way down the road. All right, so as far as snowfall today through the 9th, looking at about 5 to 10 inches for the Wasatch, a foot maybe more across the Tetons. Um, in Colorado, uh, basically 4 to 8 inches will probably do it out of this. In Idaho, uh, some nice snow there, especially through Brundage and the higher peaks in central Idaho. About 7 for Big Sky. That'll probably uh, be the most in uh, in Montana. And a bit there through uh, Tahoe and Shasta, uh, potentially 5, 6, 7 inches of snow there. Um, about a foot up there in the Pacific Northwest and parts of interior BC do okay, 6 to 12 inches. 
Okay, let me show you period two. So this is the 10th through the 15th. So you're capturing that second very weak storm, one to three inches, uh, inches through Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. And then potentially around the 14th or 15th, you may have that low that tries to develop around so southeast Colorado and northern New Mexico. In the northeast, my updated numbers there, uh, 6th through the 15th, again, this is all really associated with that 12, 10, 12, 11 storm system, but it all starts as rain in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and then it does change over to snow early 12, 11, with, as that cold air comes in, it will turn it over to snow, and there'll be some accumulation, really the best odds of um, a longer duration snow or in New York State from Snow Ridge up to Whiteface where there's just there's colder and that is more favored by the track of the storm to be in that snow band on the northwest side and some of that may cruise into parts of Stowe, Vermont and Mad River and Jay Peak and Sugar Bush. Those would be the most favored areas at this point for significant snow accumulation. All right, let me show you what that looks like. Here's the jet setup for that big storm. This is 12:10 end of day, and you can see, I mean, there's a very well-defined dip in the jet and a lot of jet energy with it. It's going to be a very windy storm system for the east coast and the northeast. As far as the forecast graphic goes for this, uh, the forecast radar and satellite, I mean, that's 12:10 by the uh, 5 p.m. hour. It's all rain through most of uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, through all of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Just a lot of rain, cold air on the back side, on the west side, will turn it over to snow, and that's how it will play out in time with rain over to snow at the ski areas in the northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.